What's up guys, Pizza here, and today we're gonna do a little bit of a different video. I'm going to show you guys how I actually edit my gaming videos. For any of you that are interested in getting into this and doing it yourself like I have, now you can follow along, you can see exactly what I do. Tips and tricks from the master editor. I'm joking, I'm absolutely joking guys, but I thought it would be an interesting thing to do and Filmora reached out with a sponsorship idea. So this video is sponsored by Filmora. Thank you very much to Wondershare Filmora 13 for sponsoring the video and if you guys would like to install it the link will be in the description and in the pinned comment so click that and check it out because it's a great piece of editing software I'm not even joking it's a great piece of free editing software you can also pay for it it is free and it is paid I recommend you guys check out the link in the description or the pinned comment and support Filmora because they support the channel and they help me out all right guys so I got this clip it's about two minutes and 30 seconds I'm gonna cut it down to about 30 30 seconds, maybe a minute, and show you guys my methodology and how I do that while I do it. So the first thing that I do uh, with videos, usually I make sure the audio is split out onto separate tracks. So I would right click this, I would detach the audio and I would bring each separate audio down, down here. But I don't need to do that because my audio is good just all on the one channel. So I'm just gonna edit without having to do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the silent parts out. This is the base cut cut that you do. This is how you make the structure, how you make the overall structure of the thing. You cut out the crappy parts and you put it in the funny parts. So we're going to be going through and we're going to be probably time lapsing me cutting up these parts so you can see. But first I'm going to show you the full clip. Mom used to f you, but now she doesn't f***ing because dick is old. Mom said your dick is old, but she told me not to f***ing. Get the f*** up, Brayden, I'm trying to hit some 90s! <laughs> Mom used to all right, guys, I cut that little end piece off because it's extremely R-rated, but when I'm editing, guys, I'm thinking about consistency and continually moving the story forward. You want context clues, you want to edit so that it moves the video forward, unless you're intentionally not for the joke, then that's obviously how you edit that. But I'm trying to make a comedy gaming video, so I gotta move the story forward somehow. So you need to cut the silent bits, cut the, the weird laughs, the, the weird sounds. And one more thing that I wanna talk about, guys, is Filmora Copilot. This is another little cool feature of AI where you can actually ask this AI anything, like something like, I wanna remove all the segments in the video that have no sound, and it will actually tell me exactly what to do within the software. All I have to do is click it, and then it will cut out all of the little silent parts in between my clip and I didn't even have to do that cutting. All right, guys, I've just done that and it's cut all the silence out of these clips, so that's perfect. You see the timeline head snapping around a bit, guys, and lagging is because the size of the video I recorded is obviously way too large for an editing program to handle, so I would have to bring this video into a encoder or something and bring the quality into a more workable format or codec before importing it. So that's where you can run into a lot of problems if you have lag and stuff in your, in your software, it's because of the codec, most likely the codec or the hard drive that it's stored on. It can be many different things, but mostly it's the different codecs and uh, and the size of the videos. All right, guys, so I've done a basic cut, as you can see here. I've cut it down to about one minute 22, down from the two minutes, cut out all the other stuff, so it's just got the funny bits in. Uh, so I'm gonna play it for you guys, and I'll show you guys the difference. Mom used to f you, but now she doesn't <laughs> dick is old. <laughs> Mom said your dick is old, but she told me not to I'm trying to hit some 90s! <laughs> Mom used to have sex with your dad, but now she doesn't because she said that she found somebody else that has a bigger, better, younger. So guys, you can see it's cut down now, so I'm happy with that. What we're gonna do now is we're going to add some music, a backing track, as you would call it. So we're gonna actually go to the AI music tool that Filmora has built in. They just added it with their new update. Let's have a look and see what we can do here. So we want some happy, uh, we, want, we want about a minute and 20. All right, we got one clip, let's have a look. <laughs> that sounds really good, but it obviously doesn't fit the video, but that sounds great. All right, so we're gonna try some different more, uh, different genres here. Let's try. 
pretty good. Pretty good. A little bit too. I need a bit more subtlety, but we just keep generating and see, how, see what it comes up with. That's perfect. Okay, I'm going to use that one. I'm going to add that one. We're just going to quickly download it. Boom, there we go. We got it. We're just going to drag and drop it in. Going to adjust the volume of it, obviously, because it's it needs to be way quieter than the actual Mom clip. I like having my music barely. Uh, you, you, you need it around the 25 dB range, minus 25 dB range. <laughs> Uh, but you also need to balance it with the existing audio, so that's a, a thing you need to do. You can adjust the audio up here in volume. That did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so that audio sounds pretty good. I'm going to go with that for the moment. So once you've laid an audio track underneath, you can add sound effects and stuff as well. Uh, anyway, guys, I wanted to also talk about the AI text-to-video feature. I can't use it in my clip. Uh, due to relevancy, but I just wanted to show you guys this because it is actually amazing. You can type in anything you want in here as a script or anything, and it will come up with, with a video based on that AI text. So let me write a big thing out and let's see what it generates. Forest setting ocean. Let's see what forest setting ocean does. All right, so I typed forest setting ocean, and there we go. We have the forest. That's crazy. Look at that. No ocean, but the forest is there, so that works really well. Uh, if you guys want to use that for some stock footage, that's, look at that. Free uncopyrighted is stock footage. Okay, so now that we have our clip cut up and we have our audio and our music, we also want to make a thumbnail for it. So we're going to go to export and we're going to go edit on the thumbnail and it's going to actually generate AI thumbnails for our video based on the video. It's actually picked some really good moments here. This is an interaction with an enemy. You can edit it for further within the thumbnail designer. So you can crop it, you can change it out. So I could make like a, you could make a, a, a smaller thumbnail like so. So you can actually edit it and put the title of the video in the thumbnail before it's even exported. Uh, all AI generated, uh, all I have to do is come in and adjust the line spacing so it looks more cramped. Pump that up, put it in the center. Actually add a preset. A lot of word art, different word art you can choose from here. You can even add little pictures, stuff like that. There we go. So I've made that thumbnail, put like a little PNG in there of uh, a, a dad getting hit and save that and the thumbnail's done. And when I export, the thumbnail will be all complete and exported just like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little interesting type of video. Thank you again to Filmora for sponsoring the video. I really love Filmora as an editing software and it is definitely one of my go-to softwares. So I recommend you guys download it. If you want to check it out, my link will be in the description and the pinned comment. I highly recommend you check it out and support Filmora. And guys, I will talk to you in the next video.